Alright, I got everyone I got everyone there. So for anyone that joins in, uh I haven't seen anyone join the stream yet, um for this uh in Discord. Um and I am also recording this um uh so that I can post it later in um the Discord in case anyone couldn't make it, which it seems like there wasn't really anyone that could make it, which is a little unfortunate, but oh well. But anyway, welcome to Undertale. Um, I mentioned in GSA that I would be start streaming uh, this game. I'm going to turn my mic up. Uh, that I would start streaming this game because it's got a lot of GSA clubs or ties to the community. And as you can see from this uh, 29148 here, the end, I've played a little bit of this already. Uh, but that was back when I was not uh, registrating it. And there is a little bit of a backstory, so we're just going to wait for the backstory. Um, to roll through here. I don't know how long this is going to take, so I'm sorry for a little bit of a wait. Um, maybe. Alright, uh, anything. So I'm going to reset and. And here we are. Little us. Alright. Okay. So let's get into this. Welcome, welcome, guys. If you've joined, welcome, welcome. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. <laughs> why, do you, why do you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, what? He was like, why do you make me introduce myself? It's rude to pretend like you don't. Do they, do they know that I reset that? Oh, this might not work if they did. Oh, whatever. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Oh, hey, what was with that wink? Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. <laughs> Friendliness pellets. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. <gasps> Ow! Wowie! You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Uh-oh. Die! No! No! Oh! What happened? <gasps> Toriel! What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Toriel was always one of my favorites. She was always so sweet and caring and compassionate. The shadow of the ruin looms above, filling me with determination. And a throat that really hurts from doing that flowery voice. <laughs> oh, I can't la I can't really laugh that strongly either. Okay. Welcome to your welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Press the squares. Tablets. Adjust. Okay, I'm adjusting. What is this? No, 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 wait. What, what did this say? There's a Z? Yeah, okay, Z. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to red signs. I uh, kind of knew that already. Stay on the path. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. Something tells me I should, uh, I should press this switch here. Don't know what could be telling me that, but I mean, uh, something tells me I'm going to need to press that switch. 
Let's press it. A bam! Anything happen? No. Okay, what is this? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I want to press this one. You want to press the other? Okay. Okay, fine. I want to see what happens. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. I want to press this one. I want to see what the hell. The switch doesn't even work. Oh, well, okay, that's great. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. The dummy. Of course, okay. You encountered the dummy. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna choose what route to go on. And I'm gonna go on, on pacifist for this first, <laughs> excuse me, for this first route. I don't want to do genocide. I might. I will ask about that if they want me to. If they're cool with it, fine. If not, then I will save that for my own satisfaction. Alright, you've got the dummy. Act. Dummy. Uh, check. Attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Okay, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Because it's a dummy. Toriel Tori seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Oh yeah, that's the other thing that's going to be really, really dangerous. I'm going to die. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So we're going to need... We're going to need armor. You're going to need... There was another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay. Uh-oh. Right. Frog, it attacks you! Okay, uh, we are going to threat or compliment. I don't want to threaten him. I'm going to compliment him. Frog, it didn't understand what you said. What was flattered anyway? Oh. Look at Toriel's face. I don't know why she made that face, and I don't know why the dude was so scared of him, but something tells me I'm going to find out uh, soon. Okay, what's the room is the Eastern Room's blueprint? Ah, okay. Uh, Toriel. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. This song gets really catchy. This song is really catchy. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Wait, Toriel, no, come back! And she disappeared. She, she, she disappeared. I was just... She did run faster than me. She could walk faster than me, so... It kind of makes sense that she can disappear. I'm just chasing her down. Toriel! What are you doing? Doo -doo. Is it just me, or does this character seriously look like he's just a flat piece of paper that's walking, that's like walking along the ground? Like, he looks like a pattern on the ground that's just, you know, making a walking motion and then he's just sliding across the ground. Kind of looks like that. <clears throat> anyway, greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence, I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Because, you know, they existed in the Middle Ages. <laughs> if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Yes, because cell phones totally existed in the Middle Ages, in the Middle fucking Ages. Just about when this took place. All right, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You haven't, you have not left the room, have you? No, definitely not. I don't know why you, why you would think that at all. There are a few puzzles that, ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them by yourself. Be good, all right? Great. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. 
I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Yes, definitely. What is this? It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes. You took a piece of candy. I see you open the menu. Oh, hey. Monster candy. Info. Monster candy kills 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Take, one. take a candy. I do I dare. Yep, I dare. You took more candy. How disgusting. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Take a candy. You took another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. Oh, no. Is something bad going to happen? Take a candy. You took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Look at what you've done. Oh, oh that, that was probably that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills me with determination. HP fully restored. Yay, save. Save. Ooh. Foggit hopped close. Compliment. Foggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. So, okay, that's... that's Whoa. Ah! 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 Spare. Yes! I has done it! Zero XP. And two gold from that. Ooh. He actually paid us. He paid us to be nice. It pays to be kind. Kindness, which is funny because kindness is actually... Okay. Spoiler! Spoilers are going to happen if you haven't played this. I probably should have said that already earlier, so I'm sorry, but yeah, spoilers are a thing. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon, cinnamon or butterscotch? I can't talk today. Sorry, ch my child. Wait, do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Do they know of the reset? I, okay, as you saw, I played this before. Do they know? I chose Butterscotch last time. When I played before, I chose Butterscotch. Do they know? Holy... Do they know of the reset? Okay. Is it Butterscotch? Yes. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old, fr an old friend for the... Whoa! Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Click. Okay. So, things are gonna get weird, guys, because the re they have memory of my last playthrough. They have memory of that, because I I chose Butterscotch last time. I ultimate, I all the way chose Butterscotch last time. Holy crap! Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Whoa. I didn't do that. Click. Ah, uh, what did we get? A whimsom approach to me click. Oh, hey, we can... We can spare the whimsom immediately. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. I can make noises. I can make endless noises. Oh, that's fun. It's only with up and down, too. That's... Okay. Here are the four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Okay. Uh... Okay. Oh, this is the crazy maze bit. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh! I was close. I was close. I was really close. Uh oh, mold small spare. <laughs> mold small. I just happened to you know run into him. I'm sorry, mold small. Okay. So now that I have a run. No, I didn't go far enough. Again, I didn't go far enough. I I stepped on the leaves again. Damn. Damn, damn. What did I, okay, what did I get this time? Can I mercy you? Oh, I can't mercy you. Froggit, compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said. Well, it was flattered anyway. Okay, yeah. That's okay. So that's just going to be the same. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Whew. 
You won! Yay! Damn, damn, damn. I hope I will get this eventually. Okay. Well, that was kind of stupid. That was kind of stupid. I've marked everything now. How far I need to go, how far over I need to go. Who? Mold small. Mold smalls are kind of funny. Wait. I wanted to read that, but okay. Okay. There's one. What is this? Mold small. Easiest spare in, in human history. Okay, push. Well then, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Hey! Dude! Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real work real workout. Talking rocks. It makes squeakies! Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's adorable. The cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills it with determination. Yay! It's Napsty Balook! Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying dead out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with, move it with force? No! I don't want to do that! I don't want to move it with force. Move it with force. Oh. Wait, is it just going to put me... Yep, in a fight. Here comes Napster Blue. Um. Cheer. You gave Napster Blue a patient smile. Heh. Uh-oh. 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 Raindrops. Ha. Napster Blue looks just a little bit better. Aw, let's go. He told Maps to look a little throat. Heh <laughs> heh. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. No, that's 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 okay, Maps to Blue. I don't want to lose my health. Cheering seems to have improved Maps to Blue's mood again. Maps to Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Blue. Dapper Blue. What? Do you like it? Napster Blue eagerly awaits your response. I like it. I don't know. Okay, so this is where we get to our first flirty character, where I can flirt with them. Personally, I wasn't a fan of Na uh, of of Nab Na Nabsty Nabsy, so I'm gonna cheer him. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because they're n there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Poor Napster Blue. Naps Ooh, wait. Okay, that looks important. I want to see what this is. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to go to spiders. You still in the web? Uh, I fooled you. You didn't have enough gold. Ah. And. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spider. Wait, of spiders? Oh my God, they're cannibalistic. Rivet, rivet. Uh, my friends never listen to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing Z. That's right, pressing X. Oh no, not you too. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go through that again. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Yeah. We'll listen to you, River River. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Ribbit. 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 I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now that a No, no by now. A monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very, it's helpful, bad. Uh, 
Oh, very helpful and it's bad. Um, it very very helpful. I don't want because then it actually allows me to be able to tell when I can spare them and not die. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. What? Why? Hello. I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Toyon! She hadn't called in a while. What is that? I see Nabster Bloop there. I see Switch there. What is this thing? This thing here. What is this? Oh. Oh! A Vegetoid! Uh, dinner! You pat your stomach. The vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Ah. Spare. Okay, so I gotta catch the green things when that with that guy. Cool. Bye bye. Alright. Who? Okay. Well small I can hmm, cha cha cha. I love it. And then I can just kinda spare again. That one, just, they just kind of rolled off of each other because I was able to spare the mold small, watch the bug dance, and then I was able to spare them after I watched the bug dance, so. <laughs> well, Napster Blue, how are you doing, buddy? I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, those can fly, can't they? Oh, well. Poor Napster Blue. He reminds me a lot like my girlfriend, just kind of shy and not that outgoing at all. Poor Napster Bloop. Loot. A loot! Uh, pick on or don't pick on. People pick on you? S screw them. Finally, someone gets it. Ow. I ran right into that. Okay, what is this? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay, so, oh, wait, if it marks, I should probably remember where the things are. Showing your arms. Something. I wonder what would happen if I, uh, actually ran into the, ran into the dancing bug. Green, blue, uh, blue is close to the spikes, um, uh, to entrance spikes. Ah, Luke's, don't pick on. Someone gets it. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, no, stop. There we go. You won. You earned zero XP and five gold. Yay. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Blue is closer to entrance spikes, green is closer to the wall, and red is exit exit spikes. I don't want to fight, no. No, I don't want to fight. Finally, someone gets it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Luke. Speak. Ow! It, that hurt, but I don't care. Alright. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Blue switch was right next to the... It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Okay. Loot choose need. Okay. Don't pick on. I'm going to explain something after this. Uh, so, again, spoilers are going to be incoming after this fight. Okay. I spared them. Spoilers are incoming. I'm going to go back to that spider bake sale and just buy a healing item from there. Um, because it actually helps with the Muffet fight. At one point in the fight, if you could survive long enough, one of the spiders said that you, you bought the donut, and then Muffet at that point lets, uh, lets you go. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go and buy the... Because I think I have enough now, right? Uh, G. 32G. Absolutely I've got enough. And if anything, I can just grind for gold. I can just grind and keep uh, sparing and keep getting gold. Oh, no.
So it seems like uh, getting hit by the, the dancing bug ends that even faster. Actually, hold up. No. What is this? You have 18 gene of them. Absolutely. Give you a jug. And I'm gonna leave that in there as well. So I just called on and give, gave you a donut. And I'm gonna leave another one. Healing items are the thing here, guys. I need as many healing items as, I'm, as I can get my hands on. Ow. Ow. Yay, it's this. I need to find a... I need to find a... Uh, checkpoint soon. If you can read this, press the red switch. Ah, crap. Uh, don't pick on... Finally, someone gets it. Whoa. Ah. Uh, no. No. Okay. And mercy. Yes! I'm getting good at this! I am getting good. It's a switch. Press it. You hear a clicking sound of the spikes going into the ground. I saw that there. And that only leaves the green switch. That's what you call deductive reasoning. That looks important. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. You found the toy knife. Uh, okay, great. I guess. Item. Info. Toy knife. Weapon. Attack 3. Made of plastic. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The toy knife was thrown away. I'm throwing that shit away. Nuh-uh. Nope. I'm not using weapons. I will not, I will not ever fight. Ever. Oh, dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will hear you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Home. Oh, it's labeled home. That's adorable. Do you smell that? Surprise. <coughs> it is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. This is... This is adorable. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hands inside. That's cool. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of f further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Yeah, I can tell. The ends of the tools have been f filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. This is a random page. Drop behind the barrier and fearful. Okay, so this is... So that's just uh, the same. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. No. You'd rather stay than chat with me then? Um, I want... How glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Oh, wait, I may have... Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. Well, <coughs> talk to you again if you need anything. I'm going to get that butterscotch pie. I want to see if I can actually take a nap. 
part of doing this, uh, okay, so more spoilers uh, coming up. Asgore is uh, going to be one of the final fights, and he actually gets easier <coughs> if you have the pie. Because you eat the pie, it lowers his defense. Talking to him lowers his defense further, and it makes the fight just so much easier. Alright, just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ah, the rest of page, the rest of the page is filled with jokes of, si of a similar caliber. Really? Hmm. I wonder what kind of crazy skeleton could make those jokes, huh? We'll hint, we'll hint as to what's coming up for later. Alright. Moving forward. It's you! It's me. Room under renovations. Okay, what is this? You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Okay. Inside the, inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Can't interact with that at all. Okay, what is this? Can't interact. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel sock drawer. <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundur of plants. Set sundur. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. That's funny. Wait, wait, what happens if I now interact with this? Oh, it's a water sausage. Well, that's kind of cool. It kind of changes, because now you know the name. That's funny. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's a water sausage. Yep, okay, I figured. So, look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. These cool, these toys are so cool, and they don't interest you. <laughs> An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and the disparity of sizes. Oh, well, that's cool. There it is. You found a slot. There, you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Bam. Okay, now that I have that pie, now I'm going to talk to Undertale. Because I want to I wanna explore the rest of this. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Okay, so how to exit the ruins now. Whoa, whoa, what is going on with her with her little mouth here? What is going on there? Uh <laughs> okay. Okay, I have something I have to do something. Stay here. Uh oh. Toriel? Wait, Toriel. Why do I feel like she went down the staircase? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go down the staircase to see if she went down there. I something told me she did. Oh, Oh, the music. Oh, things, the mood of this game just, just changed very quickly. Okay. You wish to, you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No, Toriel, stop! No, please don't. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Toriel, I just want to explore. I'll come back. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <coughs> You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me your... What are you doing? Toriel? 
Ooh! Tony, I'll block the way. Spare. Wait. No, that her name is not yellow. Ow. Actorial, uh, talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. No. Ow. Okay, Actorial, talk. I'm trying to think of something to say again, but... Nothing. Do we have to... Monster Candy. Do we have to do that spare thing? Like... Her name isn't yellow, but the frog had said that we have to... Yes! Alright, we may have to just keep sparing. Let's try... Whoa. Ow. Is acting aloof. Woohoo! Okay. Toriel looks through you. Through me? Question... Oh! Yeah, we do! Looks through you. Alright, let's try this one more time. What are you doing? Attack or run away? No. Ow. I need monster candy again. You ate the monster candy. You recover 10 HP. Wah! Okay. Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? That anybody can be spared! I will not fight you! Fight me or leave! No! I'm not doing any- I'm not fighting at all. That was a near miss. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Stop it! That was- Toriel is acting aloof. Stop looking at me that way. Ow! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Okay. Do, 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 do. Toriel takes a deep breath. Ah. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Okay, so it's, it's the hands again. Oh. Oh, they're avoiding me now. Toriel prepares a magical attack. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you. Here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy, trapped down here. The rooms are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will set, put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh my god! This is gonna make me cry! Goodbye, my child. Okay, okay, so I'm going to address something. I know it doesn't seem like right now that this game has ties to the GSA thing, which is why I was going to stream it. It absolutely does. Like, our children is genderless, so you could say, like, trans, uh, gender fluid, maybe, uh, go by she, they, them pronouns, or even it pronouns. Yes, I have heard someone want to be, I have heard of, I have had friends that want to be called it and not he, him, or anything else like that. Um, and then, like, there's a scient, spoilers, there's a scientist named Alphys who has a crush on Undyne, who is a character in this. Both of them are female. Two of the hotline guards have feelings for each other, and they're, they are both male. It has ties. It takes a little bit, but it, it does have ties. <laughs> With that, we are going to move on. I don't like how silent it is right now. This is ominous. You. Clever. Cl very clever. If 
think you're really smart, don't ya? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you are able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. He, he, he. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is a regicide. This is so much more in interesting. Oh. Oh! Don't you do that, you flowery, flowery bastard! Undertale! <laughs> <clears throat> by Toby Fox. So, I, I thought I was going to end it just, like, at the end of the ruins, but I'm going to keep going for a little bit. We're only at 41 minutes, so it was kind of pathetic so far. Oh, what is going on with that ominous? That's ominous. Ah. Hey, why? It's been smashed like it was nothing. Okay. Hey! I saw that! I don't know if you guys saw that in the branches here. I saw that. I don't like this. I don't like what's happening. Oh. Who is... I don't like it. Human. Oh, it's Sans! I forgot about that! <laughs> <laughs> Old Whoopi. Whoopi cushion in the handshake. Wait a sec. Have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. No, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human haunted fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. And it's conveniently shaped because I can fit right behind. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just, you just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Sorry, you got this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and, and boondaggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sand. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. 
What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. It sounds. Well. Okay, okay, that's the same thing. Okay, is there anything behind the stand? Is it, can I go behind the stand? It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Uh, ketchup, mustard, and relish, huh? I heard Sam's like likes ketchup, but like mustard and relish? Oh, is that a reference to some of the other AUs? There's a lot of like there are different AUs like under Fell and Fell Sands, his favorite snack His favorite thing was mustard. That was Fell Sands all the way. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Saved. This, this is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Lubber 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 A snow drake! I snow drake. Joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that. I've heard that one. Someone remembers a pun and is freaking out. Snow drake. Snow drake. Oh, snowflake! Ha <laughs> ha! Check. Snow drake. Attack 12. Defense 7. This team comedian, comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Uh, ah, damn. I missed what he said. Smells like a wet pillow. Uh, check. My favorite ice soils. Frosted. Smells like, oh, laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! No. Snow Drake, your attacks suck. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, I love it. This game is adorable. Okay, 12 gold, damn. Oh, hey, that's important. That's obviously important. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. Alright, let's check on Toria. <coughs> Dialing. Nobody picked up. Oh, Toria! I'm trying to call. Check up on you. So, as I was saying about Undyne. <laughs> Sans. Oh my god. Is that a human? And it looks so familiar. The reset, dude! I swear! Uh, I think it looks familiar because it's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! And then we'll, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I swear, they they know of the reset, because he said, he said that I look familiar. Ice cap stretch into view. Uh, ignore, compliment, steal. Compliment? You inform ice cap that I have a great hat. Envious? Too bad. I don't think that did it. No, that didn't. Okay, uh, let's try steal. We tried to steal ice cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it! Thief! 
it's not weakened enough, that implies we, we would have to try and smack it. Fighting. No, I don't want to do that either. Okay. Manage to tear your eyes away from my scout's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat is up here. Yeah. If you continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Ow. Which is exactly what I was wanting, Ice Cap. Because you freaking hurt. Ow. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station! Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving. Okay. Oh, what is this? Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo walks away. Act. Uh, let's just check for now. Don't you? Attack 3, defense 7, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! <coughs> I'm gonna pet him again. You pet Doggo. Where's that coming from? <laughs> okay, this is kinda hilarious. I wanna keep petting him. There's no end to it! I wanna keep petting him. I wanna see what else he says. Well, this... Well, this is thorough. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay. He's not going to say anything else. You won! Yay! So, something pet me. Something that isn't m m moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? What happens if I ring it again? I'm going to see. Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. You gonna say anything else? Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. So he knows Papyrus. Whoever you are, knock it off! Is that the... Is that going to be the only thing he does now? Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, what is this? Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> That's awful. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Wait, the shading of blue attack and special attack were different. Why? Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think of, think about blue stop signs. North ice, south ice, west ice, east snowed in town. And ice. <laughs> What's up here? Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Talking snowman. I, it seems like everything has a potential to talk. Really, though? That's human. Do I know that person? Do you not know who you know? <sighs> Of course I know who I know. I wanted to know if you know. I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know. You know? Oh ho! Speak of the devil! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one 
quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this all will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually really small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to go out. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily. However, the next puzzle will be more easy. Will not be as easy. It is designed by my brother, Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling in his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Okay. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some ice cream? It's, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 5G, 15G. Here you go, have a super duper day. You got the ice cream, yay! Ooh, I can kick this around. Ah! Kick, kick, kick. Hmm. Where's... Oh, there's a hole down there. Actually, I kind of knew that there was a hole. Do, 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 do. Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are now awarded 2G. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow de cha snow snow deca whatever the hell that is. Human, I hope you're ready for sand. Where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids word search. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, crossword. Personally, I have. A bit of a hard. I am able to like work out the letters and I can rearrange them and it's not that hard with a jumble. I have a lot more of a harder time with a crossword than I do a jumble. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus. Finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stung trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Alright, so that's obviously an important direction, so I don't want to go there yet. Is that snowball back? Yes, it is. Okay, that's nothing. Okay. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman white rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsus unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell revolving around. Weird smell. Humans green rating. Destroy at all costs. His. Hers. Aww. That's kind of adorable.
Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. To note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the all the settings say spaghetti. Wait, there's a little mousy hole. Aww. I, I'm sorry. Warning, dog marriage. Let me see what this is. Lesser dog appears. Pet, you barely lifted your head and lesser dog got excited. Pant, pant, pant. Ow! Barking excitedly. Lightly touch the dog, it's already overexcited. Pant, pant. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Why is it... Ow! Get the dog. It was a good dog. Ow! Okay, I'm gonna spare this thing before I die. Its neck kept getting longer and I appreciate that, but I mean, like, I, I wanted to see what it was. But not if it's gonna cost my life. Okay, so it seems like... None of these really seem to do anything. Yes, you read that correctly. Dog ma- Warning, dog marriage. seem to really do anything. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be anything. Oh, wait! There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click! Oh! Ice cap appears. Jerry came too. Ignore. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Guys, it's cold. Does any. No! Oh, the first death! Our fate rests upon you. Tony, stay, deter stay determined. <sighs> oh. oh, we're back at the spaghetti. Alright. Well, we are approaching one hour. Alright. I think I'm going to leave this one here. This is very, this has been very fun so far. Uh, I hope you liked this one. If you did, leave a big fat thumbs up. I will continue to do streams and other videos for GSA uh, over the course of the next week. Um, next weekend is when I'm going to be doing my next Undertale stream, so keep an eye out for that in Discord. And I will see you guys when we get there.